1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. DC power on old batteries. The unit is energized. Contactor. Test cell is 5 Duracell batteries. Um, one is a dodgy one. That and the other one came out of a 4 pack. So we'll see what happens when we're going to overcharge these. So plus 120 goes. So this wire here through the contactor to the positive of the battery here. Negative returns with a tensioner. Besides of this, I wish everybody a very a good, healthy, prosperous 2023 on YouTube. And we'll see what this year is going to bring us. But um, yeah, I'll try to keep entertaining. Although I'm quite busy at work and got some other commitments. So, yep, I'll keep it like that. Cheers. Shut up, Jack. It takes a lot of work, but I had another one of these to set this all up on the camera. So I open one of these Dura cells, and you can see the. Oh, this is the first one I find blank cells in. They got normally four cells in them. They used to be labeled as Dura cell. I have changed that now. That's the first time I've seen them as blank cells. This is the first time I see them as blank cells in a Dura cell because they used to have labels on them. You still get fooled quite a lot because they're only B cells, they're not F cells. They're still on hollow part in the bottom on these bloody things. Okay, I'm going to swap a couple of these cells out and put some unmarked Dura cells in here. Hopefully, we can get a bit more entertainment because I looked at some slow mo, it looks actually like pretty good, some of the puffs coming out of these devices. Hoping for something like that. Happy New Year. Cook batteries and caps here. There's the bloody thing. I can't even see it. Carnage on the other cells. <laughs> 